let's take a look at how to set up the digital key during the initial setup. Activate the Kia Digital Key app screen and place the smartphone on the authentication pad. On the infotainment system screen, go to Setup, Vehicle, and then press Smartphone Key to set up the digital key. When using the digital key through your smartphone, you can start the engine, unlock the door, and remotely share the digital key. On the infotainment system menu, go to Profile Settings and select Link Digital Key. You can use various personalized functions such as climate control and built-in cam. Save seat and mirror positions to suit the driver's preferences. You can also set up the head-up display system, which shows the display screen and key navigation information on the windshield. When the engine is on, shift the gear dial to park and adjust the seat, outside rear view mirrors and steering wheel to suit your preferences. Then press one of the three buttons on the driver's door. A beep will sound and the seat position will be saved. To change the seat positions, simply press one of the three buttons and the seat will automatically adjust to that saved position. On the infotainment system, go to Setup, Vehicle, Seat and select Smart Posture Care to save the seat position recommended based on your physical information. The built-in cam feature that can be set to event recording or continuous recording while driving and parking is deactivated when the vehicle is shipped. To activate it, go to the system screen's built-in cam, menu, and settings. You can also tap the manual record button to record whenever you want. In addition, you can download videos using the USB port in the upper right corner of the glove box. On the infotainment system, press the navigation menu. Go to favorite. You can save your most frequented locations, such as your home and office. You can use the HiPass automatic toll payment system without going through a separate registration process. Insert the HiPass card into the map lamp to use it. Turn on the power and press the volume button to activate the HiPass automatic payment system. You can also adjust the volume. Briefly press the Confirm Balance button to hear the remaining balance on your HiPass card. If you press the button longer, you will hear the most recent transaction information. Press the Eject Card button to remove the card. On the menu screen, go to Setup, Vehicle, and select Driver Assistance. You can control various driving safety-related settings. In the Parking Safety menu, select Rear Cross Traffic Safety and Parking Distance Warning. When there is a risk of a rear collision, the system will warn you and assist with braking. The surround view monitor will turn on, allowing you to check the vehicle's surroundings. You can register frequently used features with the custom button to use them easily. On the infotainment system, go to Setup and the button icon will appear. When you enter the button settings, you'll see the Navigation Custom button and the Steering Wheel Custom button. Go to the Navigation Custom button and you'll see features such as Phone Projection and UVO. Register the desired features and tap the Star button on the Info Climate Control System to activate those features. Go to the Steering Wheel Custom button to register features such as Reject and Voice Memo. Press the Star Shape Custom button on the right side of the steering wheel to activate those features. It's even more convenient because you can register different features with two custom buttons. Let's take a look at the Bluetooth Multi-Connection feature which lets you connect two devices at the same time. On the infotainment system screen, select Setup and you'll see the device connections icon. Go to device connections and select Bluetooth connections. Select add new at the bottom left corner of the screen and you'll see the hands-free calling and Bluetooth audio features. Select the desired features, tap OK and search for the vehicle name on your Bluetooth device to connect. The passkey and connection request message will appear on your device and on the screen. Press the connect button on the Bluetooth device to connect with the vehicle. Tap the media button on the Info Climate Control System to set media settings. On the screen, select the Switch Bluetooth device icon to easily change the audio streaming device. 
Let's also set up K8's rear occupant alert to prevent leaving your kids and pets in the car. Go to Setup, Vehicle, Convenience, and select Rear Occupant Alert. If the driver gets out of the vehicle while passengers are in the rear seats, an alarm sounds and a notification message will appear on the cluster. Then, the doors will lock, a second alarm will sound, and a Rear Occupant Alert text message will be sent via UVO. Swipe the infotainment system to the left and select the user's manual icon. Scan the QR code on the screen with your smartphone. It will take you to the infotainment user's manual screen, where you can easily find information on K8's smart features such as navigation, UVO, driver assistance, and vehicle setup. Kia. Movement that inspires.